Hey guys, welcome to Redneck Off the Range, and this is my second attempt at doing a movie review. So the second movie that I saw over spring break was Beauty and the Beast. Um, and that's of course the live action movie Beauty and the Beast with, um, what's her name, Emma Watson. Um, so this is normally the part where I would say spoiler alert, but if you haven't heard, at least heard of what happens in the story of Beauty and the Beast, then where the hell have you been? Uh, it's basically the exact same story um, as the uh, 1990s cartoon version. Um, they did add a few things, not a whole lot, uh, but they, did, they added a few things to give depth to the Beast's character, which I thought was really good. Um, and there were a couple things changed, like, I think, um, her reason for going back to her father, uh, when the Beast lets her go after they start to fall in love, um, that was a little bit different than it was in, in the, uh, cartoon. But other than the, other than just a couple things like that, like, it was still the, the main story, and, uh, you had all the, the same characters, pretty much. Um, the cast was pretty good. I really like, um, Emma Watson's choice, the, the choice of Emma Watson for Belle. Um, I don't know who the Beast was. Um, a lot of these, a lot of these actors I never heard of. Um, so I don't really know who the Beast was, but, uh, they, they got the voice right, definitely. Um, and then... I'm not sure who the guy is that played Gaston, um, but I think he they made a pretty good choice there. Uh, the guy who played LeFou, um, I feel like they I feel like they should have made him a little bit shorter, um, made a, um, a casting decision for somebody who's a little bit shorter. But other than that, like I really liked the the guy who played LeFou. Like <laughs> I don't know, I just thought it was really funny, and you know everybody made a big deal about LeFou being gay, um, it, it, it didn't bother me. I mean, honestly, LeFou was pretty gay in the cartoon to begin with. So, if you had a problem with LeFou being gay, then, you know, I, I just don't know what to tell you. Um, I mean, it's not like they had gay sex scenes in this movie. I mean, <laughs> it's a Disney movie. Come on, guys. It's not a big deal if you have a gay character. And, I mean, it's not like anything really happened. I mean, nothing much different than what happens in uh, the cartoon. And of course, obviously, LeFou idolizes Gaston. That's like his hero, I guess. Um, but anyway, I thought I thought he was a good... You know, I thought that character was a pretty funny... Um, Kevin Klein was Belle's father. I thought he was pretty good. Um, Alan McGregor was uh, Lumiere. And I never would have guessed that in a million years. I did not, that does not sound like Edwin McGregor. It doesn't look like Edwin McGregor when, um, when he became human again. I just, that just totally blew me away. So I thought, you know, that's, um, a quality of a good actor. If you don't know who that's who that is, um, then I guess they did their job. And of course, Emma Thompson was Mrs. Potts, I think. And then I don't know who Cogsworth was. Um, but, you know, it was a pretty good cast. Um, and again, it, it sticks to the main story. There are a lot of cool special effects in the movie, like when Gaston is trying to hunt down the beast, and the beast is, like, jumping from tower to tower on the roof and all that. Um, that was pretty cool. Um, I like how, like, Gaston pretty much died by his own hand. Um, and this may or may not be a spoiler, because I don't remember exactly how Gaston dies, like if, if the beast actually uh, pushed him off the roof, or if he just fell off the roof. But at the end of this movie, at the end of this version of Beauty and the Beast, um, Gaston's basically like shooting the beast, um, and he's on this little bridge thing, and the bridge like collapses while he's trying to load his gun, and he falls to his death. So I, I kind of like that, like, Gaston basically dies by his own hand because he's being a selfish little jerk. Um, but yeah, uh, I really liked all the songs. There's all the original songs, I think. I don't think there were, I don't think any of the songs that were in the cartoon didn't make it into the movie. I think all those songs made it in, and I think there was one or two uh, new songs that they added for just kind of 
length and depth. Um, so that was cool. There was also a scene where the beast uh, like works some magic and takes Belle to Paris. Uh, I'm pretty sure that wasn't in the cartoon, but it it, it was in the this movie, and it it gives it also gives um, Belle's father's character some depth as well because you know like it tells you why uh, she never really had a mother figure in her life and uh, because her mother uh, died of the plague uh, that struck France back then so I thought that was kind of cool um, honestly I think I would give this movie a at least nine stars maybe nine and a half um, do I like it better than the cartoon no, it, it, it's hard to beat the original cartoon version of, I guess, any Disney movie. Um, but, I mean, it was really, really good at the same time. Like, it, it's not like it disappointed me at all. And uh, that's that's a good quality in a live-action Disney movie, I think. Um, if it disappoints you, then it, it just wasn't a good movie. But um, this movie definitely doesn't disappoint. Um, and, of course, neither did... Uh, the Jungle Book, the live-action version Jungle Book. And apparently, Disney's coming out with a bunch of these live-action uh, movies for all their older cartoon movies, so uh, I guess I'm looking forward to that, too. But anyway, if you have some time and, uh, I guess, a little bit of cash, go go see Beauty and the Beast, because it's a really good movie, um, and it definitely stacks up well against uh, the original. And it even adds a little bit of depth to the different characters. So, yeah, I definitely recommend going to see it. I'd say nine, nine and a half stars. Not a full 10. I don't give it a full 10 because I feel like it could have been just a, a little bit better. Um, there were a couple things that I think could have been a little bit better, but not much. I mean, it, it's a really good movie either way, and uh, nine and a half stars is definitely a very good review. So anyway, that was Redneck Off the Range, and until next time, be safe.